Amylite, 65 million years old. According to GIA, it is the most colorful fossil in the world, and it actually is. What is an amylite? Well, it's the inside shell of a fossilized sea creature called an ammonite. I want you to go back in time and imagine that central Canada in the northern part of, uh, of like Montana, in that area where the 49th parallel is that divides both our countries, that's flat for a reason, the prairies because that was actually an inland ocean at that time. And back then, these ancient sea creatures lived in there, and they looked like these big nautilus shells. Whatever happened with dinosaurs, they all died, they all fell, the silt covered them up, and they fossilized. But only in one area of Canada, and it's a very small area, the St. Mary River uh, area, it is the, the Bear Paw Formation, St. Mary River deposit, only on two sides of this river, and only well, stretched over about a kilometer and a half on either side, is where the ammonites that fossilized actually turned color. And they are every single color of the rainbow. I want you to imagine like your lightning ridge opal. And you can get every single color of the rainbow in ammonite. And I'm going to show you that in this show. And I had the pleasure of visiting that mine. And just like in Russia, because it's northern Canada, it's only mined in the summertime. And I think I visited there, I think it was September 12th, I think, and two days afterwards they were shutting down the mine. And it's open pit mining, and it's very wet, and it's, and it's a clay deposit. And they're always fighting the elements on the water getting in, and they discover these, these ammonites, and it's really, really uh, impressive when you see them being dug up, and they hose them off, and you see the colors that you see there and what they do with it. So anyway, it's really the only uh, great gemstone other than diamonds from northern Canada that do come from Canada, and it is an all-Canadian gemstone. Let's get started here. Our first ring here, which is fabulous, is a 14 by 10 oval beautiful amylite you see here. Now, all the amylites that we sell, all of them, are covered with a quartz protective cap on top. That's because it's a fossil underneath, so to protect it, it's perfectly safe to wear every day, but they all have this quartz cap. That's why we used to call them a doublet, because it's done for protection. You're seeing this surrounded by beautiful Madeira. Citrine is stunning. It's a 14 by 10 millimeter. And this one has that very classic Gems on Vogue design that we absolutely love. I mean, just take a look at that. Look at the designing. Look at that. I mean, this is as pretty as the top of the ring. Beautifully executed. Great price. Three left in stock. Once again, these were my on-air samples. Three left in stock. $232 is going to get this home now. I have here gorgeous, gorgeous amylite earrings. Didn't do a lot of amylite earrings. When I did, they were very popular. This is a wonderful chan uh, chan chandelier design. We're going to have it right here on my turnstile. And take a look at this. And once again, I've used the citrine. I always try to use with it an accent stone that really picks up on that center color of that beautiful, beautiful amylite. We have here two gorgeous 8 by 6 We have here surrounded with the pear shapes and the Madeira. This is an absolutely super, super price point. Because, again, I only have, like, I think four pair of these in stock. Now, this was one of the first cuff bangles that I ever did. And I'm just going to set it up here and see if I can get this in focus. Oh, my gosh. Take a look at this. Notice with these stones here, you're getting the blue. Notice how you're getting the full spectrum. So let me explain to you what happens with those amylite. As it gets older, the, the colors are more revealed. So... When amylites first formed, they were all purple. And the colors are in certain layers. And as we go down in layers, okay, due to weathering, you get the different colors exposed. So this one here, for example, exposes the full spectrum of the rainbow. We have the red, we have the blue, we have the green, we have the yellow. And notice how gorgeous these stones are all the way around. Okay, this is very, very high-end amylite. All cut in Canada. Uh, mined in Canada. This is $439. It's a very, very heavy bangle. It is superior. This is really, really a great deal. Remember that shipping and handling always, always is on me. The next ring that I want to show you is purple amylite. So they explained this to me. Purple was the first color. So if we were to have mined amylite 40 million years ago, they would have all been purple. So if you see here, this is the upper layer. Now, how is it that this is purple and you don't see a lot of purple amylite out there? You don't see it because this is what we call a twin amylite. 
So when I was there at the mine, they would show me when one Amalite died on top of the other. So they both like a sandwich. And where they came into contact with each other, that layer was protected from natural erosion and earth movement. So when it was finally discovered 65 million years later, when they separated the two, this was the original color. Now, if you were to take this and you were to scratch it down, you would then begin to get to your blue, your green, your red, which exists under that. So I want you to almost imagine it's almost like layers of color. And that's exactly what this is. But this is the rarest form, the purple. Number one selling uh, color, by the way, uh, in Japan. They love that purple. Surrounded, of course, with these wonderful, beautiful white sapphires and the amethyst. This is only $266. I have two left. These are my honor samples. Let's continue with a very regal, very vintage French-inspired design. I mean, if you're into that, say, take a look at this. Oh, my gosh. First of all, the filigree work is, is done by hand on top. So the way this ring is made is cast it, and then all that is done by hand. It's beautifully done. This is a gorgeous amylite with chrome dioxide. It's a big 9 by 7 It's $191. We only have five of these left in stock, but take a look at that. Look at the workmanship on that. So that's separate filigree work that's hand-welded on top of this base. Take a look at that. See, so on the inside, that's solid. So this is a triple-layer ring. This is the way pieces were made really back in the day. I'm talking hundreds of years ago. We still make them this way at Gem Dumbo. You just take a look at that. That is a fantastic piece. Simply gorgeous. Now, the next pen that I have for you, I have one. This was a sample that we had uh, uh, proposed. And this one here, as you can see, has painted metal work. So I always love the peacock. So we took an amylite. We took a pear shape. We custom made this piece. And we had this hand painted in Moscow. Okay? And this is all hand painted. It's the only one that I have. It's the only one that I have, and then it's gone. Um, and this was a sample. We had proposed, and it was never bought for air. I think it's stunning. I think they made a mistake not running it. It's fantastic. You want to make sure you get that one. It's one of a kind, basically. It's only $269. Second last item, we're going to stick with the bangles. And this is a gorgeous one. And this one kind of clusters the amylites dead center. So I really like that. I think it just adds a lot. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous piece, as you can see here. This one has 10 by 8 amylite. Take a look at that. Look at these chrome diopters. Look at how this whole thing is just working together. I mean, the color of these. Look at that. And, and this is all natural color. Under, these undergo no treatment. I think people think, well, they stained them. They dyed them. They No, 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 no. We did nothing. It's all natural. Uh, I have one. It was my on-air sample, $356. And that one you can say bye-bye forever. The last item was very, very big. This is one of the largest single pieces of amylite that we ever, ever cut. This one is spectacular because it's green, and I, it's hard to show you this on camera. I'm going to put it on the turnstile, but it's green, and as you tilt it, it turns blue. And that happens because the color in amylite is caused by interference. And that's the same phenomenon that causes light, uh, the colors in a rainbow, or on a bubble, or in an opal. Light goes in, it is scattered, and as it comes out, certain wavelengths counteract each other, and you're left with only one color. It's called light interference. They taught this to us in physics. Well, there it is. It's a beautiful piece. That one is 25 by 8 millimeter. Isn't it gorgeous? It is a stunning piece. I have two. These were against my model samples when I was on TV. Uh, it's being offered only $226. I don't do a lot of Amalite shows. Um, it sells very well on its own, to be quite frank with you. I love Amalite. It's a Canadian gemstone. I'd love for you to pick it up. You need to go to gemsonvogue.com right now because some of these pieces that I have here are really, really rare, exotic, and absolutely beautiful, and something that I know you're going to love.